I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Tuesday, April 28th. Former Orange County Sheriff Mike Corona was sentenced to five and a half years in federal prison yesterday by a judge who said Corona brought shame to Orange County and victimized the people he was sworn to serve. Corona, the highest ranking law enforcement official ever prosecuted in Orange County, displayed no emotion as U.S. District Judge Andrew Guilford rejected his plea for probation. Guilford also ordered Corona to pay a $125,000 fine within one year. Corona was allowed to remain free until July 24th when he was ordered to turn himself in. Corona declined to comment after the sentencing as he walked out of the Ronald Reagan Federal Courthouse with his wife. Authorities say a 32-year-old man has died after being trapped inside a collapsed trench in Huntington Beach on Monday. Soil and concrete fell atop construction worker Javier Iniguez of Huntington Park, trapping him head first about eight feet inside the trench he and another man were working on near Ocean Towers Luxury Apartments. About 40 firefighters from at least four different stations rushed to rescue Iniguez, but he died at the scene. The other worker was not injured. The men were exposing the concrete foundation of the apartments and painting a sealant to keep the foundation from water damage. According to a legal claim, La Habra family members of a couple killed in a car crash with a police officer are seeking $18.5 million from the city, saying the officer is responsible for the deaths. La Habra residents Charles and Suzanne Antuna died earlier this month after a police officer's car collided with their vehicle while the officer was on the way to a police call. The city's attorney said the city is awaiting the California Highway Patrol's investigation results before issuing a comment as to the facts of the case. The officer involved in the collision was also injured in the crash and has yet to return to work. In Santa Ana yesterday, about 300 victims' rights advocates, law enforcement personnel and others participated in the first Orange County Victims' Rights March and Rally. Participants marched from the district attorney's office to the old Orange County Courthouse, carrying white carnations in memory of loved ones lost to violence. At the courthouse, they assembled on the front lawn for a one-hour program that included a dove release and speeches by those affected by crime, most speaking about Marcy's Law, a proposition recently passed by California voters that creates a victim's bill of rights, which helps ensure justice and due process. Earlier this month, a miniature pincher puppy was reportedly stolen by a young man from Russo's pet experience at Fashion Island, leading to a newspaper story. Now a woman who had received the dog apparently read the article and came forward to return the puppy to the pet store. The pet store's owner said he's not releasing the woman's name as she fears the person who stole the dog will come after her. According to store officials, the dog was first given to a couple who couldn't care for it and then was given to the woman who brought it back. Store owners also said animal thefts are fairly common at Russo's locations at Fashion Island and the Irvine Spectrum, with animals vanishing about once a month. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at OCRegister.com.